Arizona's primary election just a couple of weeks away. If you've uh, been watching TV, you've probably noticed a lot of political ads are on right now, especially in the race for U.S. Senate in Arizona. Tonight, 12 News political insider Bram Resnick is fact-checking one of those ads on the Republican side. Bram? Yeah, Congresswoman Martha McSally unloads on Senate primary opponent Kelly Ward in a new TV ad. The candidates in this race are all competing to show they are the closest to President Trump. McSally's ad claims Ward believes President Trump blew it on his number one issue, immigration. Here's the first claim in Congresswoman Martha McSally's attack ad on U.S. Senate primary opponent Kelly Ward. Former Democrat Kelly Ward. Is Republican Kelly Ward a former Democrat? A Ward spokesman confirms at 18, Dr. Ward registered as a Democrat in West Virginia, but adds she's been a staunch conservative for going on three decades. 12 News checked with elections officials in the six states where Ward has lived as an adult. She was registered to vote in Michigan and has been a registered Republican in her current home of Mojave County for the last 18 years. Now, the second claim. Ward attacked President Trump's plans to crack down on illegal immigration, saying Trump was making a mistake. President Trump's plan refers to two Republican immigration bills the president endorsed last June. Congresswoman McSally supported both. The House of Representatives rejected both. Conservatives contended they were amnesty. At a recent interview with the Arizona Republic editorial board, Ward did say the president made a mistake. Here's her exchange with McSally. Those are bills that President Trump supported. So you're attacking President Trump's support. Well, as bills. I said, so when just... President Trump goes down the wrong way, he has to have the right guidance and the right advisors nearby to say, hey, let's take another look at this. Not in a way ah, that's attacking so he, him. So he was mistaken attack... by Not... supporting these bills. Well, I, I think so, because they were amnesty bills. Finally, there's this. People who are here should not have to live in fear. Ward made that statement at the editorial board interview. Here's more of what she said. So we have to secure the border first. In the meantime, uh, obviously, I think people who are here should not have to live in fear. The DACA population should be granted temporary, temporary privileges to be able to stay here. In Ward's view, the president should move incrementally, build a wall, then deal with DACA recipients. Since there's no path to legal status, Ward argues, that's not amnesty. The third candidate in the race is former Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Unlike his previous campaigns for sheriff, Arpaio hasn't run any TV ads in this Senate race. Let's send it back to you.